Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make one of my forgotten childhood favorites. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious sloppy juice. That's right. Now, I'm not, not going to go into too much about the origins of sloppy juice, but it is a sandwich that consists of ground beef, a sweet and savory tomato sauce, and other seasonings like onion, bell pepper, chili powder, and Worcestershire sauce. It's basically meat sauce like with the meat sauce and spaghetti on served on a hamburger bun in this case i use a uh, whole wheat hamburger buns of course now this is my version of the sandwich you can get about four to six sandwiches out of it it's simple easy flavorful with a look into sweetness absolutely delicious so without further ado let's get started All right, here's all you'll need to make your homemade sloppy joes. Let's get started with our ingredients. You will need one and one half pounds of ground beef chuck. You will also need some hamburger buns. Now this is whole wheat hamburger buns that I have here. We always ate our sloppy joes with uh, whole wheat hamburger buns. Now if you wanna make the regular hamburger buns using the regular white flour, I'll have the link to that in the comment section and in the description box. And along with that, you'll need some tomato paste, Worcester sauce, sugar, salted butter, and for your seasonings, you'll need one medium-sized yellow onion, garlic, green bell pepper, and for your seasonings, you'll need some salt, black pepper, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. If you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning, or the Saffron Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Poudon's Poetry Magic, some chili powder, dried oregano, dried basil, and some dried thyme. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. We're going to get started by chopping up half of a yellow onion. Next, I'm going to rinse off one green bell pepper with cold water. Make sure that you remove the core out of the center of your bell pepper before you chop it. Chop half of a green bell pepper. Here I have two cloves of garlic. I've cut them in half. I'm going to take a garlic press and press the garlic. And there we go. Okay, let's make the tomato sauce. So in this medium sized glass bowl, add six ounces in weight. That's the entire six ounce can of tomato paste right on in there and to that I'm going to add two-thirds cup of water stir all your ingredients together with a whisk until combined mixture should be nice and thick that's exactly what we want preheat your fire to medium heat all right let's get started with cooking our ground beef in this large saucepan I let it get hot for about one to two minutes add your one and one half pounds of ground beef chuck right on in there and just for a little bit of flavor I'm gonna add about one fourth to a half a teaspoon of salt in there gonna give this a quick stir let this saute for about six to eight minutes stirring occasionally also during those six to eight minutes you want to take your spoon or if you have a spatula you can uh, take that and break down some of those larger pieces of ground beef as it cooks okay it's been about six to eight minutes now and our ground beef is done now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off here I have a mesh strainer with a shallow pan underneath it pour your cooked ground beef right on in there And as you can see, that's a lot of fat in there. We're not going to throw this away. We're going to save just a little bit of it to add into our sloppy joe filling. So let's get started with that. Preheat your fire to medium heat. Okay, again, here we have our Lord saucepan. I let it get hot for about one to two minutes. Add one tablespoon of the ground beef pan drippings right on in there and one tablespoon of cubed salted butter. 
Spread this around the saucepan. Let the butter melt. Add one and one fourth cups of chopped yellow onion and two third cup of chopped green bell pepper. Stir all your ingredients together. Let this saute for about six to eight minutes, stirring occasionally. Add your two cloves of pressed garlic right on in there, your cooked ground beef chuck right on in there, followed by our seasonings. Add one fourth teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth to a half a teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Poetry Magic, one fourth teaspoon of dried oregano, one fourth teaspoon of dried basil, one fourth teaspoon of dried thyme, and one teaspoon of chili powder. Stir all your ingredients together. Add your tomato sauce. One or two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. And to cut the acid of the tomato, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Stir all your ingredients together. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add two additional teaspoons of that ground beef fat right on in there. Mm -hmm. Just to give it a little bit more flavor. Stir all your ingredients together. Let this simmer for about three to four minutes, stirring occasionally. It's been about three to four minutes now. And our sloppy joe filling is now done. Let this cool for about 15 to 20 minutes before serving. Let's assemble our sloppy joe sandwiches. So uh, here we have our whole wheat hamburger buns. I've toasted them, of course, and added a little butter on there. We're just going to take our sloppy joe filling and we're just going to add that onto the bottom portion of the hamburger bun. This can make about between four to six sloppy joe sandwiches all together. One thing you got to do now is take that top portion of that hamburger bun, put it on top, press down, and after that, your homemade sloppy joe is assembled and ready to be served. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, homemade sloppy joes made by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's taste test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah. Now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh my goodness, I haven't had this in, I don't know when, it's been a long time. Oh my goodness, it's about to get a little messy, so here it is. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness, the bite of this sandwich literally took me back to my childhood days in elementary school when we used to have this in the cafeteria. I mean, man, it is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It comes very close to how I had it when I was a child. And it has that, that whole wheat bread, which we always ate it on whole wheat bread. We never ate white bread with the sandwich. It was always wheat bread. And oh my goodness, y'all, it is magnificent. Look at that. Ah, delicious. So... Give the recipe a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace. I'm about to go ahead and take another bite of this.